in the flesh, R.P. Horvat. R.P., um, talking with fellow St. John's alumni, fellow St. John's NCAA two-time national champion, Murat Israelian. He's had nothing but high praise for your level of fencing and the things that you did on the senior international circuit at such a young age. What, I mean, what, what was it that allowed you to achieve success so quickly in your fencing career? Um, when I was 14, that's when I realized actually, and, and other coaches told me that I actually talented in this sport. So they gave me the opportunity to do defense with the Hungarian national team um, two or three times a week. And pretty much for two years, I didn't win about, you know. But I fenced with the best. So they were all world champions, Olympic medalists. So from the age 14, I fenced the best fencers in the world. So by the time I became a cut fencer, it was uh, extremely uh, simple to fence the, my age group. Cornel is playing some jokes here on us. And he was my coach, by the way. He was your coach? Cornel Dorhei was my coach. I was his first student. He was 19 years old when he started to teach us. And he was 19. He was 19. He was just learning uh, at the sport university how to become a coach. You know, because pretty much what he was learning right away, he gave it to us. You know, and um, so age of 14, they mentioned that there's such a thing as world championship. I didn't even know. I fenced because I loved it. I had my friends over there. It was great. We played soccer. We played basketball. So it's not just fencing. And when they highlighted out that listen, you are really good at this. Let's try to make the national team next year. So senior started, national team, or oh, I was 14. <laughs> okay, so was still cadet. I mean, so, the senior national team wasn't oh, much later. No, no, not even close. So yeah, age of 14, I, I made my first national team. I made top 32. They beat me really badly over there because I was just a little skinny guy, you know. And I fenced a big Latvian dude who was just extremely strong. He wasn't a better fencer technically, just overpowered me. You know, and so the next year I realized that what I need to do, I have to bulk up, I have to pick up an extra 10 pounds of muscle. So then I, that's what I did for one year, pretty much. I, I spent more time going swimming and running in the morning before school, after school, right away, uh, private lessons, going home, do the homework. So I, get, I became very organized with my time, and it was a little bit motivated me that to, to become you know, a, a national team member. So for one year, building my body the next year I won the world championship so that was the first time and I I really got into the sport so so in your second year of fencing you won year, not, not second year of fencing uh, second year of fencing uh, with uh, in the training center in the Hungarian training exactly. center with the national team and that was my second year because uh, as a national team member and I still had one more year unfortunately I couldn't repeat but I, I took third place so it's very difficult to repeat in my opinion and um, yes, yeah, so from the age 16, it's pretty much we became kind of professional fencers over there, and and the rest, you know, I'm here. I got recruited by St. John's University. I fenced for them for four years. I managed to win my freshman year and junior year. Murat and made a, a point to mention that he won two in a row, yeah. whereas you did not. Yeah, the second year. I started to have back issues. I even uh, took me to the hospital, got some cortisone shots, stretching this and that. Couldn't practice enough. But uh, I missed it by one victory. I took fifth, or maybe sixth, I'm not sure. And the senior year, I missed it by one touch. That tough floor. So that was difficult to swallow. And going out senior year, not making the top floor by one touch. Indicator. Now, in, in the years that you did win it, you beat uh, teammate Ben Bratton in one of the years, right? That was my junior year. Yes. Your junior year. So the final was the St. John's final. Yes. Ben was. Bratton, of course, a uh, uh, team world champion. Yes. Um, but also you beat a uh, Princeton guy. Freshman was it Soren year, Thompson you beat one of the years? Freshman year, I, I beat uh, Seth Kelsey to make Seth Kelsey. And Soren Thompson for first place. So it's Soren also on so, that. And Seth. He's a top all on that. finalist in Olympics. And Team World Champions. He's, he's stuck with the sport. You know, many times it's, it's really not about, you know, who's more talented. How long you stay with the sport, how hard you're working, how strong you are mentally. And, and those guys, after college, they stick with it for an extra 10 years, going to every tournament. So they became great fencers. So I, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm playing with the idea of what if, you know, 
if I stay with the sport and, and travel with them. But as a Hungarian, um, we didn't have the opportunity to travel. Uh, I didn't have the money to travel. And you cannot be in the national team unless you are in Hungary and you practice with the team. So right away when I told me this, I knew that I kind of have to stop competing. And that's when the idea came. All right, let's do coaching. So, I've been fencing since I was eight years old, it's part of my life, I don't know anything else, you know, it's fencing. And of so, course, Vivo in, in Hungarian Vivo is Fencer, no? Vivo in Hungarian Fencer, no? Fencer, yeah. So, that's the name of our club. And, um, yeah, I've been, I've been the owner for, this is my fifth year, I have a partner, actually, Alex House, my student, Her, uh, his mom is my partner. And uh, it's working great. Awesome. Well, RP, thank you very much for thank your time. Thank you very much.